This is the USD 45 XPE solvent recycler. Let's do a couple of checks first before we show you how to operate the machine. Let's make sure the setup is all right and correct and we're ready to function and recycle solvent safely. The machine should be electrically connected to a ATEX approved junction box with an isolator switch on or an ATEX approved plug and socket. This ensures that you're fully protected from any flammable atmospheres. On the outside of the machine, you can position a clean 25 litre drum or you can use one of our optional stainless steel collection tanks. It's important to see that the outlet pipes from the outside of the machine are in a level or smooth downward motion. We don't want the pipes to run uphill. We must ensure that the pipes run a smooth downward motion to ensure free flowing solvent coming outside the machine. Once you've finished your preliminary checks running the machine the first time, you're ready to run your first cycle. What we do is we take the disposable liner, put this inside the machine, and locate that with the spring retaining clip inside the tank. Once you've fitted the disposable liner, you need to ensure that the bag is pulled through the clip so that we don't block any of the outlet holes here. The fill level for the 25 litres is shown on this marker here. Please do ensure that when you fill the machine, we do not fill over this level. 25 litres is the maximum capacity in this model. With the 60 litre, the fill level is up to 60 litres. You can fill the machine manually by using a drum and just tipping your solvent into the machine. If you do this this way, please ensure that when you're loading the machine, any spilled solvent on this top surface around here is cleaned and mopped up. We need to keep this surface clean and dry and free from contamination. So using the filling system, we put the suction pipe into the waste solvent drum open the valve to allow flow of solvent and then we will turn the pump on the side of the machine. And then solvent will come up and fill by here. Once the machine is fully loaded with 25 litres for the 45 XPE and 60 for the 60 XPE, we're then ready to turn the machine on, press the green button and the LED lights and the display will switch on. You will see the countdown on here. This will show a displayed hours and minutes remaining for the running cycle. You'll see a green LED for power to the machine, amber LED, which is your thermostat, which will flick on and off through the cycle. And then there's a red LED in there if there's any faults. We simply wait for the machine to heat up to the boiling temperature of the solvent you're recycling wait for that to evaporate, go through the condenser, drip out as clean cold solvent in your container at the side of the machine. You can see the oil temperature on the front of the machine here and on the top of the machine here is a vapor temperature gauge to tell you when the hot vapor is moving through the machine. What you mustn't do is open this lid at any time during the cycle. It's only safe to open this lid when the temperature is below 30 degrees on top here. When the cycle is finished, the timer will reach zero on here, shutting off the power to the heating element and effectively starting to cool the machine down. So we've just taken a sample of the clean solvent coming out of the side of the machine. This is the dirty solvent that we put in the machine and this is the clean solvent that we've taken the sample from the outside of the machine. The clean solvent is crystal clear free from contamination and ready for reuse. The colour can vary slightly depending on the solvent that you put inside the machine for recycling. So once the cycle is finished, the timer countdown will reach zero on the display. We switch the machine off. We observe the lid temperature gauge on here to ensure that it's below 30 degrees before we open it up and remove the waste. Once it's below 30, 
we open the lid, remove the bag retaining ring, pick up the waste and remove it. It's cold, easy to manage because it's now solid and much easier to dispose of. With a paint waste, it will dry hard like this. If it's an oil waste, we may have a slightly liquid, more viscous uh, liquid waste. Once you've removed your waste, check the bottom of the tank before you replace it with a brand new liner. Take a suitable cloth, mop up any residue that's in the bottom of the tank before fitting that new liner. That way you reduce the risk of any bag sticking to the bottom of the machine. And that's how to use the USD 45 XPE solvent recycler. The USD 60 XPE operates in exactly the same way, just a larger capacity. If you'd like any more information, you can visit our website www.unic.co.uk or you can email us at sales at or info at We look forward to hearing from you.